Backhand bikes, I want to give a couple of reasons why I really enjoy using uh, Cam for Fusion. Uh, I recommended it to a lot of people, uh, but I don't know if they understand all the benefits that can be uh, gained from, from making a switch over to this software. Uh, I come from a background of uh, using uh, NX and Katia, Mastercam, Gibbscam, and all the, and all the various jobs I've had over the years. And uh, this is one software that I really enjoy using. Um, you know, for obvious reasons, one, I'm on my MacBook Air. Uh, I've got a lot of different things going on. You know, I got my Twitter thing open, and I'm, you know, I got my website creation up. I'm doing renders uh, inside of Fusion uh, that I can just put inside my website and what have you. So being able to use it on my Mac is uh, a real plus. Uh, also, um, the functionality inside of it is. Uh, it's to the level, I would say, of uh, uh, NX, uh, especially with the drawing. Uh, it's um, a lot more concise. It's easier to use. Um, you can go into uh, a, a sculpting mode, uh, like this uh, this product I designed for backhand bikes, my little side project. Um, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that in normal. A CAD CAM software like Gibbs CAM or Master CAM, uh, and the equivalent would be NX. And uh, I got that quoted before I, I, I went with uh, Fusion, and that was, uh, it was well over twenty thousand dollars. I still didn't have uh, the lathe plug in, right? <laughs> so, uh, you know, not only is it uh, a lot of capability in the CAD uh, modeling uh, and in the machining. Uh, but at the price point, uh, I don't know, you, you just can't beat it. And it's uh, much, much simpler and easier to use. Uh, so that's one reason why I, I really enjoy this product. Uh, I'll probably say that. But uh, to stick with the CAD kind of functionality integration with the CAM is, uh, here's a production part I did, and I wanted to speed up the toolpath by actually drawing it. Uh, if I had to do this in uh, MasterCAM or GibbsCAM or some... Uh, Right, and, and they're next re in release. Right, they're not going to uh, add functionality to their CAD portion. Right, they're going to make it faster for you to uh, calculate toolpath or some kind of CAM functionality. That's what they specialize in. But uh, you know, having a full CAD software right behind it, or you know, integrated in with your CAM software, saves so much time when you want to uh, create some geometry in the middle of these two parts. Well, you got full CAD functionality. So you can immediately go in there and start drawing uh, drawing that toolpath in or, or creating a plane that's uh, that's on a uh, angle or uh, geometry that has constraints and it can change and you can go in and uh, say, uh, you know, it's, it's a little off. Uh, maybe I can grab this uh, plane and adjust it. Uh, you can make those adjustments very quickly. Uh, so having the uh, a full CAD with the CAM is invaluable uh, when it comes to programming very quickly. Uh, also, in designing all your jigs and fixtures and making changes on the fly, right? You, you just can't compete with uh, having a real CAD software here. Also, um, now I programmed this initially at this job with MasterCAM, and uh, that's one reason why I just stopped using it altogether. Uh, it's because this requires an undercut. And it was taking 45 minutes to calculate this toolpath with MasterCam. And the toolpath, uh, if it messed up, then I had to do another 45 minutes of calculating. Uh, I'm on my uh, little MacBook Air, uh, two processors. Uh, it's not, you know, it's nothing to write home about. It's, it's designed to be efficient, not really powerful. Uh, but just in a, a couple of minutes, I can calculate this uh, undercut you know, on, on my Mac while I'm sitting in a coffee shop somewhere or sitting at work or, or wherever I am. Uh, in, uh, when I was using Mastercam, I had a, a laptop with four, four cores that were twice, twice rated what, this, <laughs> what these two cores are in this, uh, uh, in this MacBook. And, uh, and then it didn't render the toolpath as nice. It didn't, uh, it didn't link all the moves uh, nearly as clean as, uh, as this is doing. And uh, this also calculated where it hits the, uh, the shaft of the tool right when it would start bumping up that radius. So you can see it, it, it linked those moves uh, real clean. Uh, 
So that saves uh, an enormous amount of time, having that kind of uh, kernel behind your, your software, being able to render the tool path quickly. Uh, this is probably the, the best time saving. Uh, I just love this little tool. It's completely underrated. I don't know why people aren't just uh, going crazy over this. Maybe I'm just weird. Uh, but uh, whenever I'm whenever you're uh, constraining toolpath or kind of trying to build up your boundaries on saying what to cut, what not to cut, in Mastercam you find yourself clicking uh, all the surfaces you do want to cut, and then you have to go and click all the surfaces you don't want to cut uh, and then maybe it'll still dive into some geometry that you didn't even think about uh, so you, uh, you want to create uh, boundaries uh, well this boundary creation tool is kind of the bomb uh, uh, it's predictive so I get it started on one side and now I could be wasting my time with another software clicking all of those lines or I could just click two times and say yeah I want you to stay in that boundary and okay uh, Especially when it comes to doing uh, uh, 2D cuts, uh, like I'm doing a lot of a lot of 2D cuts here, uh, and when it comes down to doing them, uh, I literally just uh, select them. Now, I've, because I'm cutting styrofoam, it's going to put that arrow on the wrong side every time because I'm doing a, a conventional cut. But uh, being able to just uh, select those. That quickly uh, saves uh, a lot of time. Yeah, uh, just for your information, if you're ever cutting styrofoam, uh, climb milling just pops those little beads out. So I do conventional milling on all those. Uh, and it calculates that tool path pretty quick. It's got three degree draft. Uh, anyway, really enjoy using this software. Uh, got the new lathe module in here, uh, so I got some turning projects I'm working on. Uh, uh, save a lot of time. It's enjoyable to use. It's a good train. Get on it. <laughs> Thanks a lot.